Okay, Mud Fossil University, Roger once again, and um, today putting together some pieces that I think make some sense now. Now, this, uh, since the discovery of the no toes, um, they've just been pouring in literally. Now, um, this I found online and I cannot source but it says uh, two new finds from China. What are they gibbons? Now, I'm going to go through the things that I've been being sent uh, and, and some of my specimens that are from the no toes and from, I believe, this particular skull and this particular anatomy. Now, uh, we'll go through it, but this is what I intend to show is that the no-toe feet, these big huge blocky feet, which are, I'm going to show a bunch of those, um, are possibly attached to this creature's head <laughs> with a bunch of stuff in between. Now, and I, there are all kinds of artifacts from the distant past which were little statuettes and things that appear to, to have this type of uh, anatomy so let's go and look at what was discovered and it's it's absolutely amazing all right let's start with the no toes now this is from tish egerton's find and she has a whole batch of these and and, and this one here she just found a, a couple of days ago and this is from a video i did right away i was so excited that i had to throw a video up there and uh at like the 15 minute mark i start going into the real good details now just like bolts in here now i'm gonna let it play and i will try to explain it as it's playing all right, so I'm pointing to the different bolts, and there's springs, there's literal torsion springs that act just like our ligaments. They they twist. Now, and I, I mean, I, I've really seen a lot of these things, and I've done a very deep amount of looking at them, and I can tell you that's how they work. Now, this thing here, look at the width of the back of that. And, and it, it's, it seems to be two, like, limestone plates with all of this, this is some kind of heavy mineralized limestone and then um, wedged in between is a lot of um, organic matter, fleshy matter. Now, you see this big lump that comes off of here, off the side? It's like they bolted a plate of these springs on there. And um, she has other ones that are just much better, well, just as good as this. But see this? You see that? It's, it's like an assembly. They bolt it on, bolt that on, squirt some stuff in there. I don't know, wrap them up with some cellophane or something and let them start walking around until he comes, comes to life. I have no clue. I don't know what to say. But it is. there's no question this is what it is. That is a hominid foot. And I, and I can show you a, a whole batch of other specimens, but this is more or less of an update because I have so many videos about this. Now, this is the creature, again, that has these gigantic feet. Now, I, can't, I don't know who to got contact. I've been trying to find out the source on this. Now, now we're going to go from the feet to this head. Now, I have another friend, Kim. And she didn't want me to use her last name, so I won't use it. But um, she has uh, this head, and I feel, well, I don't know if it's that type of a head, but I think it might be. Because when I look over here, I can see some differentiation between the back and the front. And now, hers has a very strong differentiation. And there is all the, well, not all, but some ancient statues also show that particular same architecture of the head, I think, the anatomy, I'm sorry. <laughs> now, um, I, 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 I'm just guessing, I'm just looking at what I'm finding because I'm trying to put pieces together. And, and uh, So that's what we have, the feet, I think I understand. I think I understand how they grow. These are like an intermediate, they're starting to become, uh, see, because no toes come in a variety of different ways. That's that's the other thing. Some of them are rounded ones, some of them are squared off ones, some of them are like shoes. Mine, mine look just like shoes. I mean, I, I thought it was a shoe, to be perfectly honest with you. So let's look at some other stuff real quick, and then we're going to look at that head. Now, as you saw in the other ones, those huge blocky feet with the the legs coming up this way, they're real wide at the bottom, and then these, they look, I said there was plates on it. Well, look here. You see that? The little circle with the dot in the center? You see that circle with the dot in the center? 
I think this may be bolted together just like the you know the other one down in this area uh, hers broke off right about here I believe and this probably would do the same thing I have no clue that's why I need to be able to see something a little more on this but I have no idea who, who uh, possesses these now I'd also like to note you to note this head on what is called uh, a Minoan gold ring of Minotius 1600 to 1500 BC. It's a sea goddess with a monstrous head. They say monstrous. Well, I guess they call it like a monster head. Uh, and this is from Richard Berry Seeger, uh, Exploration Island of Mochus. Um, and it's in the public domain. So that's one thing. This is uh, Kim's Naga head. That's what we're going to call it. It's a Naga head, and I'll show you why. And it has this crest. And I've looked at this very carefully, and I certify that 100% authentic. And if anybody can show me why it isn't, and I can show you why it is. All right, this is the underside of Kim's ne uh, head. This is the neck. That is where the tongue, this, I believe, is actually the tongue. And this is where the throat comes out. That's the front right there. This is a red and a black. It's a red-blooded creature. And, then, and that's also from the crack in the back of the head. It, it leaked the red blood out. Um, this is, if you, if, if, you can, if you know to look at the architecture of the vertebra of whatever creature it was, I have no clue, but this is the architecture of vertebra. This is the red blood that would be associated with the arterial um stuff this you know blood obviously the um uh, there is some dark around here which is heavily oxidized blood it's either from the vein or it's heavily oxidized and that is exactly the architecture of what your throat would do if it came down just came down just like this to a neck now um and then there's this arter artery and there's a, a vein over here uh I don't think you can see it, but it's up in this area. Now, I looked at it over so closely, there is no question what it is. It was alive. Okay, this is the um, the reddish, I don't know if you can see well in this, but it's the reddish one, and that's the black one, so that's always the arterial, which has the oxygenated blood, and that is the return, which is the vein, which is black because it has the deoxygenated blood. All right, this is a white naga. I have no clue if it's associated or not, but it's similar looking. It might have a cresty looking thing up at the top. There's an ear here, which we don't seem to find on Kim's head. But anyway, that's a naga. That, this is called Glycon. The white naga worshipped at Thomas, now in Romania, on the Black Sea. All right, that is the head, and you can, once you understand mud fossils and you know how to look at this and look at it in the microscope and everything else and understand the textures and the way skin changes in different locations like the lips and the eyelids and the, and, and so forth, um, this is, there's no question this is real, none whatsoever. Now I, know I said it's a, a red-blooded creature. Well, there's your red blood. That's the arterial blood. Same thing if you crack your head open, you're going to gush red blood all over the place. Now that's her or his or her or who's ever crest. And this, they have this variegation, lumpy looking thing in the back of their head. That's all. And as it got crashed in here, this, this is not smashed in from being smashed. That flute here is cracked and this one looks to be injured too and then there's some injury to the front is seen as well all right this is the injury in the front here you can see whenever you see this red blood running down something got injured there now this crack here they don't carve those that is a crack like you get in your skin like a wrinkled skin this particular and when you look at it close enough you understand the skin around the eye and the eyelids and so forth is different and it is different in this as well as being different in everybody that has that different kind of skin. Alright, you see that? That's from the, the muzzle going back to the face skin and that's the eye and so forth. This thing's been laying around for a long time. She's had it for quite some time and she got it from somebody else. I don't really know the extreme amounts of details but it go, it, the thing has been around for quite some time. Well, a very, very long time in my um, opinion. And that's another shot. You know, you see the crack, you see the 
the lip tissue and the eye tissue and the uh, different colors. And I'll show you a, a, um, a little more on this because there's statues, all kinds of stuff that goes along with this. But of course you're on um, YouTube now watching this video, but I do have Mud Fossil Research on, um, on Facebook. That's a group and I have Mud Fossil uh, Revelations, Mud Fossil Revelations. That's the one that has the meaning to it. What these things mean about our history and our future. And then I have uh, Science Mysteries at Mud Fossil University on YouTube. And I have Mud Fossil University, I mean on, on uh, Facebook, and Mud Fossil University on Facebook. Now, um, so this is where I was posting. And the beauty of this is, is that I, I have people that, that react to the things that I put the videos out about and they say oh did you see this or look at this or let me show you that most of the things that I have learned I have learned from everybody that's contributed to me so uh, this is just uh, I'm, uh, you know and everybody has this stuff it's all laying right in front of them they just have to start looking and there's no reason you can't look I mean, you're just as competent as me to do this it's, uh, I, I have no special abilities here that you don't possess all you have to do is start looking with an open mind so here's what happened um, some somebody had sent me this to like I said, oh look at that the feet thank thank goodness I see see the big gigantic feet because I've had the no toes and I've been posting I think Aaron Hartman might have sent me this uh, but but everybody just look is another guy Michael uh, he sent me this uh, about somebody with this kind of a head so I sent back look at this thing and so and this goes on and on I see now he sends me back look at this now these are the kind of things that. The, the, in other words, what I'm getting at is Mud Fossils has redefined education. Education is a cooperative effort. It's not a you listen to me, go home and read this book and you're smart. No, absolutely not. This is education. All right, so look, here's what he sends this. Now, I send him this. I say, look, don't you, do you know about this? And I think, well, maybe I should do a video about this because I know what I'm going to get. Now, look at this. Now, look at this thing. It's the same thing. That's the same picture as, as uh, Kim's head. Has he got the lump on the top and everything? And and now look at the <laughs> the uh, you know starvation mode. Look to this thing. You know <laughs> the emaciated look. Looks just like that. and a big long arms. I think we got a match here of the no toes. I'd love to see where the feet are. I have no source of this either. So I'm asking for people to contribute to me, and they do. I'll get. I'll find out. Somebody send me this stuff. And it goes on and on and on and on and on. So, um, what I'm getting at is I have 20,000 researchers at my disposal. Uh, 20,000. They send me stuff. I, and that is a good news and there's bad news here. Because I, I'm overwhelmed, I have to be honest with you. I'm overwhelmed with people sending me stuff. Which I still want you to do. But I have always responded and sent back this and that and, you know, try to engage and I just cannot do it. It's impossible. So I will do everything I can and I would really appreciate, you know, really excellent, um, you know, uh, help on anything. That would be really good and I'll try to respond the best I can. But it's very difficult. Now, I want you to see something. See, I've, I've been claiming this guy was real at one time and I... And, Ovid has all kinds of writings about this metamorphosis, and everybody knew about these kinds of things, the gods could do this. Now, look right there, you see that? That's not like rebar or anything. That right there is his tendons. You grab your own self right there, and you got one running right up to that spot. You can feel it. It's not nothing special. And every bit of the anatomy and every bit of the chemistry is right on these things. So I only make claims where I have something I can stand behind it and say, okay, here is chemistry, here is text, here is specimens. All right. And this is what I've just presented. All right. Uh, the claims made by me at Mud Fossil University are all backed up by research. And I am literally the only one right now in the world that understands mud fossils in an intimate way. 
and I've studied every different process of the dip between geothermal and how they uh, different muds and different uh, different types of soils and blood fossilization creates opals and um, from top to bottom and I have a huge collection and I have an enormous number of people that work with me right now and send me things and we work together and I understand the chemistry the anatomy the biology everything and I understand that everything there is is related to life it is not ever anything that is simply dead dust and my good friend here Will Rogers, a man for whom words of wisdom seem to flow like radiator fluid. <laughs> it ain't bragging if it's true. Alright, this is some more of Tish's feet. These are eroded. You, could, you look at that right there. That looks to me like a wing nut. I mean, seriously, look at that. It looks just like a wing nut. Now, you see, remember I told you they had that stuff bolted right onto the side? That's it right there. They bolt the springs right on the side. The toes stick in here like little sausages. <laughs> they fell out of there. But these are eroded. These would be no toes. That normally would have been covered with flesh and skin. And you wouldn't see down through where the toes are. All right, this is um, some of my no toes. These are, they, they, these are like absolutely perfect. Look just like they like came out of a shoebox. Uh, and they're very deep. And they have that very steep arch in them. And all the same stuff. So, um, let's go a little further because there's big ones too. Okay, here they are. So, this, these are big. They're very big. And uh, that is, uh, that's a no-toe. That's a big no-toe. And uh, that's the ball of the heel of the foot right there. There's some of the, the um, this kind of stuff is missing off the padding. And they have built-in pads on the bottom. So, and, and and I think they bolt them right in there with that and then squirt some stuff in there. Like, they build them this way, maybe. Here, here's what I'm thinking. This is like calcium, um, um, calcium carbonate, CaCl3, uh, limestone, essentially. And I'm sure there's porphyritic things in there, keratins and keratins and all that business. So fibers in here. No. Um, as a matter of fact, I, I'm almost positive there is, but I haven't cut mine open. I can see them anyway. The The... That's the spring assembly. They bolt on the side. And then maybe they've got something, that, like they some kind of a um, bioengineered mat or something they put on there. And they put that wig nut on there to bolt it in position. And then they squirt it with some bio stuff and it grows this. I don't know. But this is like a yellow, I think they call it gummite. <laughs> like, you know, the old gumshoe cops. Gummite, I believe that's what it is. And you see this? This is what happens to the, these creatures from the flood. They drowned in the flood standing up. And it's all recorded, too. To be honest with you, it's all recorded in Ovid. If you listen to what it says. And he tells about how the world was even repopulated. Uh, anyway, they stand up in the flood, they're semi-stabilized where all of the um, explosive organics go into sol uh, solution in, in the uh, waters for an extended period of time and they begin to stabilize as they are buoyant in the waters and as the water receded they literally fell apart and they ended up having the fascia. Fascia is the coating of everything. All of these were like bones or organs or separate little entities that were encapsulated in fascia. And some of them were very big. So I, this is all I'm just reporting what I'm showing. What I'm showing is when people report to me, I report to you. And, you know, I, I have some of my own stuff I'm showing as well. But, you know, it's not something I have that nobody else has. It's all over the place. Just to, to look down. Literally almost everybody I know or, 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 or discuss things with has all of this stuff. And almost everybody I have even encountered says, oh, I've had this stuff. I knew that for years. <laughs> I knew that my whole life now. it's all, You know, that's all I hear now. Who didn't know that, you know? <laughs> because they have these rocks. They've had them and they've been just sitting on them and looking at them and knowing, knowing this. But... Not allowed to, to say it out loud, otherwise they could call an insane person. And now there is no question about it. I mean, I have DNA tests too.
We have three DNA tests here that were done oh, several years, two, almost three years ago now. It's, and three of them, and so two of them were giants, and one of them was standard size, and they all came back 100% um, mitochondrial DNA, and it was dense. It was not like, because I knew where to take it. I took it right out of the arterial blood supply. I didn't just scrape it off of something and, and, and hope for the best. I knew what I'm, I'm doing, and they know what they were doing. This is extremely, uh, it was done, there's no question what this is, is what this is. And if somebody wants to contest it, contest it, you do it. Homo sapien mitochondrial cytochrome B gene, homo sapien mitochondrial D loop region. And this is not a silly little test. It was, uh, this was expensive, and it took a long time to do. It was months, and it is certified, so... That has to have some meaning, but it doesn't seem to uh, to uh, the academics. Uh, but what I'm presenting is literally undeniable. It's not you can't challenge it, so they don't. But they just ignore it. Now I don't think that's right for the students or for society. Just my thinking. Anyway, that's why I started my own uh, university, Mud Fossil University. Okay, so come up to, uh, well, stay at Mud Fossil University. As a matter of fact, I have people telling me they're binge watching up here and having a hard time going to work. <laughs> I, I mean, that's just kind of funny. Anyway, uh, there is so much to say. I have like 400 videos, something like that up here. Anyway, we have over 24,000 people putting on about 1,000 a week, and we got to get up, got to keep moving that up because, you know, you're going to end up trying to talk to people that aren't going to understand you unless you can get them to c come up and learn reality. Reality here, and and if you show them this video, I mean, if if they can't accept that for reality and say, oh well, yeah, there's something here, then that person, you really don't want to be around that person because you, you're you're living in a fantasy with that person. But you know, do whatever you want. I, I don't like fantasy people. I like people that I can re talk to and have them think with their eyes open and their ears open and respond according to what is presented to them, not respond according to what somebody else read to them or according to their opinions and beliefs against rational presentations. That I find very difficult to accept.